wanted to give you a little update today on what the pros and cons are for living in Bloomington, Indiana. It changes a little bit every year, so this is 2024 version. So the quality of life in Bloomington, Indiana. We have a high quality of life here. We've got beautiful natural surroundings and a vibrant cultural scene and a diverse community. So we always have a lot going on here in Bloomington and it's just a nice place to be. Because we are the home to Indiana University, we are a town of 40,000 people with an additional 45,000 college students bringing it to 85,000 people. So with that college town atmosphere, we have a totally youthful vibe, which some people love and some people don't love so much. So we get a world-class education system and intellectual stimulation here. There are all kinds of things to do because of the university. You can do ongoing education. There are all kinds of shows that are brought in by Indiana University and musical theater, musical performances, all of the things, right? But you have to embrace living in Bloomington and embracing Indiana University because we wouldn't be much of a community here. We would just be another little small rural Indiana town without Indiana University here. So love it or hate it. We're all about the Hoosiers. Job opportunities. We have a lot of job opportunities here in the healthcare field, manufacturing technology, and of course, education. The city is also putting some money into startup businesses. And we have the mill downtown for collaborative office space and being able to network with other people doing startups there. So that's something, but there's Cook, pharmaceutical, there's Catalent, which has just been purchased. There's Baxter was just purchased by Simtra and there's Boston Scientific. There's a lot of different job opportunities here. The city boasts a really nice arts and cultural scene. So like I was saying earlier about Indiana University, they bring a lot here. There's always ongoing performances, art galleries, there's the Eskenazi Art Museum, there's the Lilly Library. Those are both on Indiana University's campus. There's other art galleries around town. And then there's Nashville, Indiana, which is an artist community. So there's a lot of little art things and music venues. There's festivals all year long. There's the Lotus Art and Music Festival. We have Handmade Market. Bloomington has a variety of festivals throughout the year. Outdoor recreation. We, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, this is the place for you. We are surrounded by Hoosier National Forest and Lake Monroe, which is Indiana's largest man-made lake, which is just 15 minutes south of Bloomington. So there's all kinds of state parks around and trails throughout the state parks through Hoosier National Forest, through the Charles C. Dean Wilderness Area, there's Bean Blossom Bottoms, Nature Preserve, there's Leonard Springs, Nature Preserve, there's just all kinds of things to do where you can do mountain biking or hiking, any of that. Now, what's interesting is that the epicenter for the eclipse for 2024 is going to be in Bloomington. So it is predicted that 300,000 people are going to embark on Bloomington for the eclipse. So you'll definitely want to start now and pick out your spot, your camping spot or whatever, because it's going to be crazy in Bloomington and Indiana University is going to be closed. All the public schools are going to be closed because it's just with that many people coming into our little town, it's going to be impossible to get to work and commute around town. So if you're walking good, if you're bike riding good, if you're in a car, not so good. So you want to keep that in mind when you come to Bloomington. Now the cons. 
What I was saying earlier about the jobs, there's the competition for jobs. The competition for jobs is very high, especially if you're applying at Indiana University. There's going to be a multitude of people applying for that exact same position that you are. So whether it's a professor or a staff member or food service, apply early and know that you will be in competition and the same thing goes for other jobs too so many people may not like the job environment in bloomington and decide to they want to work in indianapolis because bloomington's got such a cool vibe not a huge city right but indianapolis is only 50 miles north of bloomington so a one hour trip to downtown indy and there's a lot more jobs up there. So a lot of people do commute and there is some ride shares and things like that to go to work up in Indy. But you can, you will be coming home from a very busy major metropolis, right? To something a lot more chill in Bloomington. The seasonal weather. So Bloomington has four seasons. The winters are usually pretty harsh here, but nothing like they are up north, like in Chicago or anything like that. But we do get our fair share of snow and ice. Now this past winter has been very mild. I think it's only snowed once or twice and it's just really been a dusting, no big deal. No ice storms, nothing like that. It's It's been a unseasonably warm winter, but Usually the winters are pretty gross. Now the month of January, it I don't think the sun came out hardly at all. It was gray and rainy and bleak and gray. So there's that. You do have to get used to the gray weather. February has been pretty good and who knows about March and April, but we will get there. Limited public transportation. We actually have a pretty good public transportation system in Bloomington. There's uh, Bloomington Transit, which goes all around the city. And then there's um, the IU buses, which connect up with Bloomington Transit. And so if you're in, in the city limits, it's really good. Now, if you live outside of the city at all, there's a, a rural transit option, but it doesn't go to all the places and you will need a car. So if you live close to Indiana University, it's going to be a no-brainer. You may or may not want a car. You can walk or ride your bike pretty much wherever or grab an Uber and be transported around town, no problem. But anywhere outside the city limits, you've got to have a car. Just saying. It's a car community. So there's that to consider and the traffic congestion. So at the peak times, it does take a while. It's nothing like commuting around Chicago or Indianapolis or anything like that. But it will take you a while. There is limited parking in downtown. They do have several parking garages, but you do have to park and walk. So you want to keep that in mind and you will have to pay for parking if you work in downtown or want to do any of the things in downtown. It's very inexpensive to park. Most places it's like 50 cents an hour, something like that. But if you don't pay that 50 cents and you get a ticket, it's going to be a lot more. And if you get your car towed, it's ugly getting it out of the, the towing. It's very costly and so you just want to keep that in mind. Now. The other thing is housing affordability. It is hard to find a house in Bloomington. Right now, I just checked the houses for sale in Bloomington. Between 200,000 and 700,000, there were only 163 homes on the market. So housing competition is fierce. Now this is predicated by the higher interest rates right now, and they're supposed to go down this spring, but we haven't seen that happen yet. We, it went down for a little while and people got excited, started listing their houses, and then they bumped the rates back up. So 
you just want to keep that in mind but housing competition is fierce we have a lot of people coming in and out of indiana university so people are always looking for housing and you've got to be right on it to be able to get a house in the location that you want and be prepared to pay listing price or above listing price because it's that competitive here and as far as rentals go rentals are very high priced as well most of the rentals here you have to lease for a year there's no such thing as buying on contract or rent to own or any of that that's just our market moves too fast and we just don't see those types of things here in bloomington so with that that's my 2024 update it's a little bit different from last year but you just want to keep those things in mind and be sure and check out my next video and i will give you more tips on housing in bloomington